Hello there beautiful souls. Welcome into the channel Search Sense and Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. I really do hope you're doing well in this time. I thank you so much for liking the video, for sharing it with those you love, and for subscribing to the channel. All of your support is abundantly appreciated. So welcome in all 3,000 and growing out of you. I hope to like get as much of you in here as possible. So welcome in, hit the subscribe button, much love. So welcome in newbies, everyone. For those who are new to the channel, you're now part of this family and you're very welcome here. Um, of course. So cancers, I'm gonna get some messages out for you in love today. These are gonna be general messages. So they may not all apply to all of you. So do take the messages that do apply and the rest to let them fly. Now breathe in here with me as I hope to get the most accurate messages out for you in this time. Okay. Okay. You have the page of cups, the page of wands, hangman, the hermit. I feel like you have two people interested in you, two different situations. I'm literally just, I heard something about a warm kettle of fish. I don't even know what that means. But the warm kettle of fish. Someone is hot. Someone is thinking about you, daydreaming about you. They're so attracted to you. Want to come into your life, your experience. Listen, I'm telling you, this person thinks of you and their groin is like on, it's like, woo, it's like boiling water down there, honestly. And it, this person may be a person from your past because they are also a, attached to your heart strings your love vibration maybe you were married to this person or somewhat connected but they want to come back around to you in some way shape or form like this person want to come back around you in some shape literally like they may want to drift in your life like a dark energy but like a shape shift a vibration you know like when you watch a movie and you see some the dark moving and then it forms into a person yes maybe that means they want to sort of like teleport or i don't know how you'd go into someone else's space like um remote something um <laughs> or me i feel like this person physically wants to slid in your energy like like i'm 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 hearing slide with a th because it's almost like this person's like a snake like slithery is that energy i'm getting i don't know like this person's wrapped around that tree and they are like with the page of wands energy i do feel like um charm as well snake energy so they are, are attracted to you sexually thinking of you as well mm, masturbating i didn't want to say it honestly the justice card is here what fear fear because they think it is fear the justice is what i lose that because f at first it felt like the justice is telling me like this person may feel like it is fear that they do this to you like this person will be watching you on a phone um and doing that word um but oh shit get deep behind me satan So yeah, so this person could be fire sign, earth sign, water sign, Virgo, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's that for that. You know the yeah. <clears throat> you know when you call someone a, okay, okay. You a jerk. 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 Jerky jerk. They they I don't know why they want me to say it specifically. Not the M word, but that one. All right, so this person is not only sexually attracted to you, but they also feel like they have love in their heart for you. Like, literally, their heart space aches. I can, like, inflammation around this person's heart. Like, maybe even just, like, their love vibration. Like, look, the key ones. They haven't settled. I'm saying they have. I like it. Like, this person is from your past. Or just a person like you knew and is attracted to you or something like that. But whenever they think about you, like the tension that surrounds their heart is so big. It's, it hurts. Like they're just not having you. It's the distance between you two. It's the energy of wanting something you cannot have. And who knows what this person will do. Right. 
you're you're just on this person's mind so much you're just on their mind you're on their mind so much bro like in their heart in their throats like they speak about you they cry about you this feels horny about you and it's so sad it's so heavy bro i don't want to feel this energy because I, do i care why would i care about this but just so you know i'm not gonna dive into this i don't see why i should go into what someone else is feeling like oh i don't like why I don't know why I should do that. But that's how they feel about you. Maybe you'd like you like to know that. But I don't care. Unless it's someone I love. I mean, but if I don't immediately know you, so like yeah, basically. So if you know who I'm talking about, that's what should you do? Um you just know now how that person feels about you. And this is a person where I feel they are lonely a lot. And, um, you know, I can't, they, you know, it's a person from your past, your past love. 